One of the great things about the internet is being able to make money off of it. You can have any idea, whether it be stupid or silly or really inventive or, and creative, but whatever it is, you can create a store for it and sell your stuff online. But you have to know how to make a store. So in this video, I'm going to show you a couple of different ways, actually three different ways, uh, ranging from easy to hard. The first website I'm going to show you is called Cafe Press and they allow you to upload your own logo and put them on t-shirts, mugs and set your own price for these items. So at the top of their web page click the sell t-shirts option and then click on the get started button underneath the basic shops which is the free shop. And then just create a name for your store and a shop ID and you can even enter in a link back to your own website and then click submit. Then click the build your shop option, click add a product and it will take you to their product selection. They have uh, a whole bunch of different products from t-shirts to hats to clocks to mugs to teddy bears. And then whenever you have all of your products selected, click on the select image option to upload a logo or image that you want to use. Just uh, browse your computer for it and you can select up to five as you can see here and uh, then just click open and upload and then click done whenever you have all of your images selected and then select the image that you want to use for your products and click the select link. Now on this page you can adjust where the logo appears and the price of the products and then click done and it will give you a link to your shop. Now if you want to embed this in your web page, um, uh, I'm going to show you this this link right here is where I showed you how to create a web page and I'm using the exact same code that I used for that. I just entered in a, a link, I saved it as index.html and uploaded it uh, to using my FTP server and again if you need help with that just refer back to that previous tutorial. Now this website is in association with PayPal. It allows you to create a little flash widget uh, for a storefront. Just log in to your PayPal account and then click create new storefront and you'll see this little interface and the widget on the right is what your storefront is going to look like and you can adjust the color you can add a title link to an image that you already have uploaded on the internet you can set store policies and then you can start adding products and uh, you can click the little plus or minus sign to add or remove products it's on the right hand side and then if you have limited inventory click on the inventory tab and set that now you can enter in the shipping information and then just click the publish option and copy this entire uh, code and then you can paste that code into your website and again I'm just going to save mine as index.html and uploading upload it using my FTP server just like before. Now this last option is for advanced users only. This is requires a lot of skills. So if you go to opensolution.org and download the quickcart.zip file, extract that to a folder called cart and upload that entire folder to your website. And then find the config folder within there and set the file permissions to 777 and make sure all the subdirectories are set to that as well. Then do the same for the DB, files, and lang folders to give them all read-write permissions. Then if you go to cart slash admin on your website, you can log in using admin admin, which is the default username and password. And to change that, click on settings in the upper right, and you can change the username, password, what currency you're going to use, different things like that. Then click on the pages tab, and you'll see a bunch of default pages there, and you can change those by clicking on the edit button on the right hand side and then saving your changes or you can just click on the delete button to delete them all together. And it's the same th thing for the products tab. If you click on that you'll see a bunch of default products and you can edit those or delete those as well. Then if you go to your website slash cart you can see your storefront. Alright, if you need any help, please be sure to visit the forum link in the video description. And for more tutorials, go to tinkernut.com.